All right, welcome. It's Alex right here, and today um, I have here with me the uh, Jada Jada Toy Street Fighter Two, um, the final challengers, Kami, and uh, this uh, this one arrived today, just today in the mail. So this one came from Hong Kong. So I probably am the first one to have uh, this one or Kami in hand here in the Philippines. So I got her for around probably less than less than twenty five dollars so not really sure how much that converts uh one thousand two hundred pesos so i think that's between twenty to twenty five dollars i pre-ordered her last december twenty twenty three and uh ten months later it's here right now uh, the first review that i saw um cami is from Toy Migos, so I was really stoked when I saw that review on how uh, how she was able to do otherworldly stuff with her articulation compared to the Marvel Legends. So um, before we take a look at Kami, I have here I'm gonna show you the box. So it's your standard ordeal Jada Toys um, packaging. If you have the previous ones like. Ryu, Ken, uh, Chun Li, Fei Long, and um, Bison and Dalsim. So if you're able to get those, um, I already yeah. taken her out of the box. So um, one thing that I was really disappointed when I first took her out of the box, I really, I really went and looked hard whether there was um any missing accessories or not. But uh, yeah, alas, to no avail. So these are the only accessories that we have. So um, I have here uh, the alternate head, alternate shouting head. Uh, the um, effects where she, I'm not really keen on Street Fighter really. So I really don't know what uh, move it's called for this effect. So I'm really sorry about that. And then we have here um, a two open or open palm hands then Kami right here so uh, the one thing that I was disappointed about is um, Jada Toys skimmed us out on the flight stand that um, we previously have we, we do have peg holes I really did look hard there was no so there's an empty space right here probably for the flight stand but alas it didn't come with any flight stand so there you go so it's got a peg hole but with nothing to plug into so yeah so here's a look at Kami she was very very well done uh, I was able to play with her around earlier and oh my god the articulation it's very very Wild. good but I was really amazed by this figure so yeah uh, here she is and then okay so let's go ahead with the articulation so yeah her head is able to move um, her neck also have an articulation down there so she's got um, the uh, cut right here but I wasn't really able to I mean or probably it's got much better range moving backwards but not forwards but a diaphragm cut uh, right here below so she's able to lean forward and back like that and then um, her, her arms both of the arms can rotate and raise at the side she's got of course a bicep swivel double jointed Pinless elbows, wrist articulation, able to rotate, and then she can split. She's able to do the splits and then kick forward, kick back really far, upper thigh cut, double jointed pinless elbows, I mean knees, and then we've got a boot cut, boot cut right here. Then she's able to move her ankle 
backwards and forwards and is able to pivot so yeah so I was really amazed with the articulation compared to what we have with Marvel Legends and I am an avid collector of Marvel Legends but this uh, Jada, Jada Toys really did outdone themselves right in the articulation department for the size comparison so if you're planning to build up your Marvel versus Capcom even though I'm not really sure if um, Kami is in any Marvel vs. Capcom games but I do have the X-Men 97 Wolverine right here so um, standing beside Wolverine here's how tall she is right and then I have um, Chun-Li oh, oh okay okay you're probably gonna get the idea on how she scales well with your other six inch scale uh, figures then oh crap okay she's not cooperating this time the last size comparison if this Toby right here is your standard size Marvel Legends so here's how tall she is standing right beside Toby will be and Shun Lee all right and if we're gonna go ahead and measure Kami she's standing at about five and three quarter inches so less than little less than six inches and about uh, 16 centimeters so yeah she's gonna scale well with your other six inch figures in your collection uh, this is our quick look at uh, the um, Jada toys Kami White from Ultra Street Fighter 2 oh, she, she's like she's very enjoyable to play with so um, if you're planning on getting her don't think twice go ahead and get her immediately if you're still able to find her but I think she's about probably between 25 to 30 dollars right now um, in stock so I was just really lucky to get her for around less than 25 so between 20 to 25 dollars so yeah so two thumbs up for me uh, 11 out of 10 really really perfect probably I'm really uh, biased right now just since um, she's a new addition to my collection but really believe me go and get her so that's it for me um, thank you very much for watching peace out